Hello everyone, I am Yamini. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about a very important algae from the examination point of view which is your Volvox. I have included diagrams as well and in some videos after uploading the quality was very bad so I have made changes in it. I hope you will be good quality. Please last time see it. Thank you. So let us start with today's topic. Today's topic is Volvox. The classification of Volvox goes like it belongs to the class Chlorophyxy, order Volvocales, family Spherilaceae and the genus Volvox. It is a synovial algae. Now what does synovial mean? Synovial is a type of colony which has definite number of cells and a fixed type of shape. Okay, so it is a synovial algae. You can see this in the diagram. It covers an entire pond and it can be seen by naked eyes. You can see it floating on the pond water also. It is a colonial algae as I told you. However, the individual cells of the synobium are chlamydomonad type. They will look like chlamydomonads. If I will show you in this diagram, you can see this is the complete colony of Volvox. Here is the flagellum. This is the colonial envelope. These are your single cells. These single cells look like chlamydomonas. Okay? And then this is your daughter colony inside the parent colony only. Right? Now each single cell consists of two flagella. As you can see, there is a cell wall. There is a cup-shaped chloroplast. Just like your chlamydomonas, pyrenoid is also present. And now they are all covered in a mucilaginous sheath. As you can see. And they are then interconnected with each other with these interconnections. Okay? These colonies are oval to spherical in shape. These cells are biflagellated. Right? Each individual cell is biflagellated and are enclosed in a gelatinous sheet as I already told you. This cavity is hollow and is filled with watery or gelatinous substances and as I told you that the chloroplast is cup shaped. So here it is written that cup shaped chloroplast is present. Reproductive cells however do not have flagella. Okay. Reproduction is by asexual means. By asexual means specialized cells called gonidia or parthenogonidia are formed. See. This is how gonidium looks like. These are your individual cells and one of the cell act as a gonidium. This. This then move to a four celled stage. This then further divides into eight celled stage. This eight celled stage is important and is called as plakia stage. Okay. And this is the distinguishing feature for Volvox as well. And MCQs generally are asked on this particular stage. Okay. So, Plakia stage is a eight cells arranging themselves in a curved plate. Now, further division of these eight cells take place and a 16 cell structure called, the 16 cell structure is formed and this has an opening called as phyalophore. This is again a question that what is phyalophore? It is a small opening found in Volvox at 16 cell stage or after the plakia stage. Then the inversion takes place of this whole structure and then a young colony is formed. So this was about the asexual reproduction by in Volvox. Now talking about the sexual reproduction. This sexual reproduction is of oogamous type. Okay. Alteration of generation is of haplontic type. That is dominant haploid phase and your uh, uh, double to diploid phase. Hai, it is your lesser one. Now you can see here the oogamous type of reproduction here. These are your eggs. These are your anthrozoids and they fuse together to form the daughter colony. Here is the life cycle of the ball box. For asexual reproduction, haploid gonidia is formed, which further divides into various stages as I have already shown in this particular diagram, results in the formation of a young daughter colony 
which forms the complete wall box. Talking about the sexual reproduction, which was of oogamous type, we have antheridium, which is haploid. Oogonium, which is again haploid. They form the gametes. Sperm, which is haploid. Ag, which is again haploid. And thus we were saying that the haplontic type, because haploid characters are dominant. Then fertilization takes place. Then zygote is formed, which is your diploid. It undergoes meiosis and your zoospores are formed. Zoospores we have already discussed in the introductory video as well. You can watch it there. And then a juvenile colony is formed, further leading to the formation of a complete matured volvox colony. So this was all about the volvox. Our next topic will be chlorella.